Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So we've got all the mechs repaired, we got some time to pull off a mission, and we're going to go to the mech bay first. You know, first thing you'll notice is that uh, the Centurion D3D or whatever it was, I just went ahead and sold that. Now, I did try and put it together with the, with the um, uh, Rack 5 and the largest LRM I could put on it, which ended up being an LRM 10. Because once I got the armor maxed out, once I dropped in, um, I, I think it was a 240 core I put in it. I put it in the pirate engine that we had, um, the uh, endo steel and the ferro fibrous. The uh, that's all I could get out of it was the rack with two tons, and um, an LRM uh, 10 with a couple tons of ammo. So it was really, really a waste of a mech. Like, I, I, there's nothing I could do with it. There wasn't anything that I could do with that mech that I couldn't do with um, the Centurion 3A, which is the old, it is the primitive mech, so I had to put it a standard fusion core. But I found, once I maxed the armor out on both, the, both of the mechs and dropped in the same gear for both, the Centurion 3A actually had more weight available to it. Like, once I replaced all the, the, uh, the primitive... Um, uh, headgear and the center torso stuff once it was all replaced with like ferrofibrous and endosteel steel and all that stuff We had no primitive gear on it I actually had more weight per ton on this guy than I did on the other one and this one has got three ballistic hard points and two missile So what I could end up doing with this guy was adding in the rack five with two tons of armor and a pair of SRM sixes with two tons of LK armor or two tons of L LK ammo, sorry and that's it so it it was really I don't know. It, it's toss up for the amount of like it was like 1.4 million for both, and I'm like, because I, I was putting that pirate core in, and I'm like, I, I can't justify it. I can't justify spending 1.4 million on the Centurion right now. I mean, I could just drop the Rack Five and the SRM Sixes in, lower armor and stuff, and try it that way. But it's not going to give us any more than what we've already got, and I just don't have the material. Um, weapons wise to be able to put together that that centurion properly the rack 5 is nice I thought about dropping it into one of the uh, urban mechs, but because it was 10 tons I'd have to drop the core significantly so I don't know I just don't think we're in the position to get that into play just yet it will happen but not right away so with that being said I did make a couple of minor tweaks to the mechs uh, not a whole lot really I think I, I changed the loadout slightly on uh, yeah, I think I changed it slightly on the um, Irenia here. I think what I did is I pulled out a couple of the regular rocket packs, dropped in a couple of like uh, Exostar laser and a small laser, just to give it a bit more of an energy punch to last longer in battle. Angel ECM went into this thing. Um, and I think that was it for the Irbies. I don't think I did much else to them. Uh, I think I this one's got a small and medium laser now. I, I, like I did minor minor tweaks and I think I uh, I think between episodes with this one too I added the, the recon sensors to um, um, the lamb mech to give it a bit more scouty ability so we're gonna go ahead and run a mission today we're gonna go to the command center now I don't know how this is gonna turn out but we're gonna take flyswatter here now it's against the locals which so shouldn't be so bad it's an assassinate mission in the desert and the command or the mech we're going after is the cicada uh, it's her ancestor family mech, so we should be able to pull that down without too much of a problem, although it does say they, they have a heavy lance defending her, so we'll just have to see how that's going to work out. So we'll go ahead and negotiate, and we're going to go full salvage, or, uh, yep, go full salvage and accept, and then we're going to swap out to our main lance. All right, Hopper, let's get in here. Arachne and uh, right, yep, and you and you and you and you and let's do this. Yeah, I know we don't have any. It's the yeah, it's the MRM ammo. All right, let's see what we got here. Looks like there could be two lances plus the VIP. Watch out for the VIP. That's it right there. And there's one lance there. 
and the other one so it looks like we may have dropped on the opposite side of where she is cuz she is like yeah man so we may have gotten lucky in this one so um, I think we want to close the distance as fast as possible here yep I know got to close this distance And let's get you as far up as we can get you. Um, sure. Now we can't do anything this turn. She's going on 22. She's going on 22. She'll be dead before her reinforcements get here, I think. As long as she can stay in targeting area. Kind of a nice color scheme. Pink and cyan. I'm interested to see what we're up against here. Alright, some lerms. Mortis. Heavy rocket launcher, LRM-5 with LK, ERPPC dead fire. How heavy? It's a heavy mech. Okay. And there was a vehicle I heard moving. So, where are we here? Why does it always mess up the camera? Okay. We got to get off this bridge. So, yes, let's sprint as fast as we can up here. Uh, what? Why can't... What happened? Did they take away the sprint and shoot? Why couldn't she shoot? She couldn't have been out of range. Not with LRMs. Uh, okay. Gonna go for the better chance to hit. Uh, I'm gonna leave the barrage off for now. And firing. Roger that. Our primary target is taking damage. Awaiting orders. Okay, let's get into here. Alright, we got some sensors on here. The mortis. Hephaestisto bombast lasers. Hephaestos. Hunchback 6N with the AC-20. We've got to be careful of that guy. Archer old. Pair of Thunderbolt 10s with high explosive. Handheld light rack 2. Ooh, interesting. This guy's all SRMs. All right. Um, it's interesting. Going to use the barrage on her. Hopefully we hit her. Forgot to move the tag up. Looks like we got her, though. Copy that. Okay. Got a direct line of sight on the chopper. Not really interested in the chopper though. 75 with Artemis. We're going to take it. Hopefully we blow through this torso. We could kill her. Let's hammer her. Uh, let's drop. Uh, we'll leave the MRAMs off. We're going to need it for the other mechs. Engaging target. Right leg's destroyed so she's going down. There goes the torso. Okay, that's going to be a fire and jump. Target ain't going nowhere. She ain't going nowhere. No. Where. We do need to take the high ground though. That's the chopper moving. 
Ooh, missed the barrage. Could hit that archer though. Good to go. Move your ass up here. I don't know if we can I think we can get up this way. Confirmed. I think we can. I hope we can. Um Let's just go with the lasers. Locking on target. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, all we gotta do is go across the top. So we're gonna we're gonna start heading in that direction. Um so we're gonna clear out the upper mechs first. Interesting. Interesting. Wonder what that guy's running. So it looks like they've got a lot of uh VTOLs over here. Probably four of them. So four mechs and four VTOLs. Not bad. Okay, Arachne, I don't know why you couldn't fire last time. You only had... You got the standard ammo up. I don't understand why it wasn't giving me the ability to fire Good to go. we got to get up this hill. Still two more turns before we're on top. Let's just tab through everybody. Nine. Eleven on the mortise. Looks like it might be the mortise. Seven on the archer. Nine of the hunchback. So let's fire on the mortise. Probably get a couple hits at the most. Yeah, we got three. Not bad. We'll take the three. Yeah, they got three helicopters. Whole lot of miss. Okay, Queen B. So we can... What's the best chance to hit here? Archer's really good. That's a warrior AC5. This guy's got one energy that seems to be broken. But let's go after this guy because we can hit with the tag the best. Uh, we're going to go ahead and Vigilance first because we're going to be jumping. Archer, here we go. Uh, wait, tag to the top can't forget to do that okay firing tags on a little bit of damage and we're gonna jump away gonna put her over here in the trees I've got your back okay you gotta move post haste here ready to run get your ass up here All right, we got a direct line of sight on somebody here. 16 on you, 14, 64 on this cavalry helicopter. How much armor do you have? Not much. We're going to go with the Artemis. I want to see if it can pull him down quick. All right, good damage. Insult to injury on this mech. Even if she managed to eject, she's fried now. That means we have to run through the fire to get up there, though. It's a pain in the butt, but whatever. We'll deal with it. Yeah, baby. Ready to get it on. Can we? We so we can get up here, and it doesn't look like we're in the fire. Roger, full speed. So let's get all the way up. Negate some of those. Uh, Minus is to hit. And I'll leave the barrage off because this guy's in a position where he can get in on us. Now what's kind of... It's got a bonus... Bonus hit points in the CT. Less on the head. And less everywhere else. So it's mostly CT armor. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, we're going to fire all these on him.
strip some of that armor off them. Hopefully we can keep them pinned in that area. Maybe the barrage hits them. We gotta get up here fast. Let's focus on this archer for now. You're in our way. Is this the guy that was hit? That's the sprint. This is the cavalry helicopter. Let's take some shots at this guy, see if we can get him, then we'll just jump out of here. Okay, I think we missed with the tag. No, we got him. Tagged him. Gonna jump into the water, maybe we can cool off this turn. That should put us out of range too, I think. The archer might get a shot at us, but... He's got to rely on high explosive to do any kind of damage. Plus, I think we're in the uh, AMS range of the archer. I'm glad I put the advanced AMS in the archer with the extra tonnage that we had. It's really helping out. I think it was I think it was because we put that light engine in there. We were able to put the advanced AMS in. Yeah, man, chaff. Those bolt-ons are really nice, I gotta say. They're really helping out. Keep moving it, buddy. Hoof it. Alright, so... Let's just... Yeah, we need a direct line of sight to be of any use here. Where's the cavalry chopper? There's the f second one. That's the one that's damaged. We're gonna switch out to... Um, Let's go incendiary. We got lots of incendiary. Let's see if we can fry them up. Say goodbye. Rotor crit. Punch right through his armor. No kill though. All right, that's fine. Once we get to the top, I want to use that incendiary ammo to bake those two mechs in the valley there. As long as we can stay at a direct fire that hunchback. I think we're fine. Now that barrage is going to land this turn. Move into the barrage. Did you move in the barrage? No, you're outside. Shit. Guy's dangerous, man. We do have an AC-20 and a couple tons of ammo, and I can buy some ammo in the store, but... At 14 tons, it wasn't really, like, I could have put it on the Centurion, but that would have been it. It would have been a cent the Centurion with three tons of AC-20 ammo. Maybe like an SRM-2 or something, but that would have been all. With a slow engine, it's like, what's what? he's never going to get into battle. Like, this battle, it would be a waste, a waste of time, right? With the wide open spaces, unless we're, we have fast mechs, um... With short range weapons, there's no point even equipping that many short range weapons. The Mian Shen is about the only mech here that's got a, a lot of short range weapons. And in several battles, it's been almost completely useless because it just can't get in. Right? That's the trick with the big map sizes. Okay, Archer should take a hit, right? Yeah, a little bit of damage. Hopefully it's warming him up too. Okay, hot shot. Yeah. Flames on the way. These guys can all see you, eh? You're not going to be the only one up here, so don't worry about it. Let's get into here. We're going to turn off the lasers, and where is that? There, this is the one we want. Um, turning all these off, we're just going to run with the LKs, and hopefully we get some good damage on this guy. Couple hits, is that enough? Nope. Spent way too many turns trying to kill this guy. Commander. Ooh, we could get up and get some dead fire on this guy. Let's move it into here though. Stay out of the direct line of sight of that guy. 
I don't know why I'm worried about this guy so much. I guess because we can kill him, but... Warhammer, Hunchback. Archer. Let's go with some dead fire on this guy. Or do we want to save it for the guys below? Probably want to save it for the guys below, I think. Let's just go standard, hammer the archer. Okay, he's almost unstable. Sprint's got the barrage, that's it. LRM-10, SRM-2. So, the Sprint... Like, no armor. 24. I think we're going to send the Lamb after that mech... Or that uh, chopper this next turn. Well, Hopper goes first. We'll see what his chance to hit on it is. If we get a half-decent shot, we might take it. Blow him up. And then we can use uh, Queen B on the Archer, I think. Although that uh, Hunchback, that's that's the Hunchbacks with Notorious... Oh, he's moving away. He heard me talking and he moved away. <laughs> the little shit. Stop talking over the comms, people. They're listening in. Yeah, this Archer... Yeah, this has got like nothing for back armor, right? So it's a good backstab potential. So we may want to do that. If he presents us his right side, we'll try and blow through it and get rid of that AC. Now I've had a couple people people commenting saying I should be, you know, shooting from the front, better chance for headshots, things like that. And I, I, you know, I totally get it. Um, but you know, and it's it's also better to get better components. But I'm also looking at survivability too, right? not knowing what we're going to be up against uh, and how badly we can be, like how quickly we can be killed. I'm more interested in just taking guns off the field. I'll worry about the salvage afterwards. As long as we can survive the missions uh, and make sea bills, I'm fine with that. And if it takes us a little while longer to get gear, I'm okay with that too. Like I said, my, my, biggest, my biggest fear is losing a mech at this point permanently. I've got your back. I mean, we do have the Centurion as a backup, but... It's not really, really a backup, you know what I mean? It's just a replacement mech until we can get something else. Now, that copter is gone out of radar. Um, I can't remember. This guy doesn't have a double heatsink kit. AC-20, it doesn't, it's not that hot though. Here's the archer. We could go for him and go for instability. 23 it's 64 on this is the guy that's massively damaged like if we switch this to standard for a second here 44 in the mortis 44 on this guy 32 29 we could go for instability and try and knock this guy over which I think was what we'll do I mean we won't knock him over but yeah now he's completely unstable so hopefully he'll move and brace Oh. He stopped doing that, I think. Holding, to see here. The walking was uh, probably enough for him. But we got the uh, dervish moving in with dead fire in a second. So we should be able to shred him at point blank. Queen B is going to jump up too. We're going to try and use her on this cavalry chopper to try and remove it. I know it's really not that big of a threat, but I want it off the field. I think we're in pretty good position. we got three more turns before Hopper can at least get up into here. Whereas direct fire missiles can really put a uh, punishment on the hunchback. I'm hoping this archer is gone by that point. Then we can just focus the, the two LRM-20s. The Dervish and the Mian Shen should be able to pull this mech down. We'll use... Yeah, this, this chopper's pulling back. We'll use um, Queen B to harass these uh, VTOLs. I, 
think if she can keep them harassed and back further, uh, that should be good. And then hopefully we can get both of our barrages on those mechs in the uh, defilade there. If we can put both of them on, like one on each mech, force them to split up, then we, can, we might be able to pull one down at a time. Now if I was going to do targeted fire against any mech here, it would be those two in the defilade. They look like they probably got the best gear. This archer, obviously not. The hunchback, obviously not. If we get parts, great. If we don't, we don't. That was the AC-5. Yeah. That's fine. I'm sure he's saying, AMS this. You get to move now, so we'll sit to see where he goes. No, he's not moving, eh? Yes, Commander. What do you think, B? Roger that. Okay, we'll get up here. Drop up the vigilance. And that's our guy. So let's go ahead and finish this guy up if we can. Go. Tags on. Wow, really? Strip all the armor off the side that's facing us, I guess, rather than hitting the rotors or whatnot. It's got like nothing. It's got nothing left. Here comes that sprint. Better not hit. Uh, did he fire or not? Drop the barrage right here. That's what I would do. That way it would cover all of this, so I'd have to either go this way or go back this way. Right there, baby. He's thinking. He's thinking about it. He's not... Okay, we got a chance to take him down. Beautiful. So this hunchback is looks like he's pulled back. He's got his uh, left side to us. He heard, he heard me say we were going to go for his right side, and he, he pulled back. It's like, screw this. Digga, 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 digga. All right, we got a chance to pull down two choppers this turn. So we're going to take that. We're going to overkill this guy, the sprint with the tag barrage. Going to use the archer on him, wipe it out. We'll get uh, Queen Bee to go after the cavalry one that's almost dead. Uh, Min Shen is going to target the archer on the side if we can. And the dervish is going to come up in here and target the, arg the uh, archer with the um, dead fire. That's my goal anyway. We'll have to see what happens. I think that's probably the best thing to do. These guys move pretty quick, though, I gotta say. So this is the guy with the AC-5, right? And he's not firing either, eh? Commander. I think no matter what I do... Actually, we're not going to move very far. I don't think we have to this time. Do we give him a pasting with the rockets, too? I mean, we could... We're not going to hit that side. We're going to hit this side. Let's leave the rockets off. I think we'll save those for later. I want the barrage for down below too, so let's just fire what we have here. Engaging. Okay, broke through to the structure. Looks like it was the arm. I think I hit something good. Probably the arm. That was the SRM2 SRM one, wasn't it? Yeah, we broke, we broke through the arm on this guy. A ah, little bit. A little bit to the torso, a little bit to the leg. Okay. He's got dead fire coming in a second. That's the 10 and 2. Okay. Not so worried about that guy because the LRMs are pretty much useless at this range. They're really pushing it. Standing by. 
Can't see this guy. Yeah, you little. All right, that's no, that's all right, that's all right. We're just gonna back up. We're okay. We'll do this. We can do this. We can target this guy, and we'll hit him with everything, Confirmed. just to make sure we can kill this guy. Okay, that guy's gone. Depending on what our targeting is with Arachne, I might go after another chopper here. We'll see. Got range on everybody here, so let's get through here. Now, it doesn't look like we're going through any fire. Okay, let's switch it up. And let's just tab through everybody here. So that's pretty good chances to hit. That's not so good. That's way better though. I think we're going to target this guy. Can't hit the hunchback. Although we had we had our other LRMs on first, that's why. So let's go after the hunchback or the uh, sorry the um, archer. Hammer him. I like them apples. Okay, he's backing up. What the hell was that? Oh, handheld light rack. That's what he was firing. How can I help? Full speed, buddy. Aye, aye. Full speed. And we got standard ammo. We're gonna go on the sprint. 8.1, eh? Christ, I don't think we can kill him. 32 on the archer though. 44 on the hunchback. We could target everything on this guy. Ooh. Yeah, I think we do it. Let's remove this guy. Roger that. Vehicle down. See ya. Took that one right in the face. Is there no way to move without getting into flames, for Christ's sake? We do have our jump jets. I keep forgetting I added the jump jets to this guy. Really bad chances to hit. Lots of heat. Not so bad on this guy. Let's drop off the pulse laser. Uh, but we're going to fire that. Well, the pulse laser is 46% chance to hit, though. One ER medium, maybe we leave off? I think so. We could leave two. Well, let's leave two off, save some heat. And let's just hammer this chopper. We're not going to kill it, but let's just hit it with a, what we with what we can. Actually, if we switch to uh, Inferno, wait, LK is what? Thirty three. Let's just switch to Inferno. I want to save some of the better chances to hit for the guys below. Got the angle. Take the shot. Well, that was really underwhelming. Okay, Archer's yours. Orders. We can't get a side shot on him, eh? Not without moving forward, and I don't want to do that. So let's move into here. Moving out. Right through the fire and take no fire damage, because that's how we do. And we'll fire this on him. The Archer should be able to get a direct line of sight on this guy once we get up to the top of the hill here. Which should be this turn. We should be able to get up into here and just hammer this guy. This guy's still down in here. 
Well, I think his right side is facing us now. He's not doing much. He's not moving up the hill. I don't know whether it's because of this or what it is. Ah, uh, we got a chopper going now, don't we? Yeah, 17? No, 19? The sprint? Yeah, we didn't kill him, so he's probably got a chance to take a shot at us. He's backing up. He's backing up. Back it up. Who are you shooting at? Okay, I don't know if you hit me or not, but if you did, I'm going to give it to your boys down below. Find out here in a second. Aye, aye. Affirmative. Yep, put it right on me. You know where we're jumping next turn, right? All right, we're really hot. I'm going to leave these two off because we're jumping next turn. So let's just hammer this guy. Copy that. Okay, tag's on. Rotor crit, nice. That's going to hurt. She's jumping right down in here next turn because fuck these guys. I'm going to put a barrage on me. Where are you going, Mr. I'm driving backwards? Thanks for showing up. Barely a scratch. Talk to me. Got to sprint it. Roger. Full throttle. Full throttle. We could go all incendiary on this guy. Handheld MRM. I think we're just going to go... We want to hang on to the Artemis. Let's just go standard on this guy. Hammering him. Firing on the enemy. Take that as a lesson. Okay, nice. Just back it up. This guy's all drunk ass over here. Um, let's use half the dead fire. Oh yeah, see ya. Should have armored those torsos, buddy. Don't think you can run away. What was that? Somebody's turret or something. You're about to get a face full of it. I've got your back. He's decided to give me his AC side, so we're gonna take it. We're only gonna walk up here and we're gonna switch these guys to Artemis. I want to put the lasers on too. I know we're going to heat up, but we're doing it. I want to see if I can blow through this side. Here it comes. Nope. I think that was mostly arm hits. Yeah, arm and leg hits. Well, can't have everything. Hopefully we beat him in initiative next turn. God, it always sounds like it's using so much ammo. What's up, boss? On my way. It's got our stability back, get a little bit of evasion. We should be able to deal a death blow to this guy. I don't mind heating up a little bit here if we can kill this guy. And yep. Should do it, I think. Yep. So we don't have to worry about the barrage now. But they have to worry about their barrage. One for the Don't they, Queen Bee? Um, I can 
Confirmed. Oh, this guy's just outside. Damn. Alright, I'm gonna vigilance. Uh, not because we need it, but because we want to get initiative for next turn. I'm gonna put the barrage on the guy down there. And we are shooting him in the back, so we're gonna unload everything on him. And yeah. Looks like the barrage is on him. Share the wealth, that's what I always say. This is a Warhammer 2C? Guess who's getting incendiaries? He went on 22. This guy's going on 21. Holy crap, that's fast. That's the Lerm 10. I gotta forget about that, um... I gotta forget about the Hunchback for now. We're gonna back up and we're gonna blast the uh, Warhammer down here with some incendiaries. Alright B, uh, who can we hit? Anybody? No, they've moved behind us. So, let's just jump out. We've, lot, we've got a lot of stability damage here. See if we can get the tag on the Warhammer. We have enough vigilance? We do. Beautiful. So we're going to see if we can get the tag on the Warhammer. Uh, I don't mind leaving these off. Fire the pulses for now. Roger that. Tag missed. Damn. That's all right. Got something you we could have EWS pinged them, but not that worried about it right now. Okay, really good chances. Um, gonna save the rockets, but we'll fire the rest. Beautiful, beautiful. Choppers are gone. Three mechs left. Three mechs left. Let's get around to this side. We don't have a direct line of sight, but we're gonna pot shot the Warhammer. We don't really have any special ammo on this guy, so... Or the, not the Warhammer, the Hunchback, I mean, sorry. How can I help? Mm, I think we need to sprint. God, there's really nowhere we can go. That hunchback's not going to be able to see us. Let's turn so at least to maximum speed. he's got less of a chance to hit just the one arm. And we're going to switch this to incendiary. Drop some on this guy. Keep him nice and quiet. Enjoy the barbecue, buddy. There's the barrage that came in. That should warm them up even more. Get over here. See what we can shoot on this guy. I think we're far enough out of his range. Uh, I'm going to leave the one off. Give us some heat back. Okay, one hit. We'll take it. Take it. I think that was a torso hit. He's enjoying the chemical fire down here. Don't worry about the guys in the valley just yet. Okay, we got one of our um, MRMs back, or MMLs. Going back to standard ammo, and we'll fire everything on this guy. Good clustering on the leg there. Not enough to take it off, though. 
he's going back to where he can hide a little bit. Yes, Commander. Um, that's the mortis. So the mortis is technically the warhammer. No, it's not. This guy is. Wait, what? Oh, I don't have a direct line of sight on the other guy. Right. This guy's nice and toasty, though. I'm gonna go ahead and heat him up. Or hammer him with what I have. And we're just gonna walk back. Got a tag on him. We're gonna walk back out of uh, visual range here. Drop a little bit of heat. Talk to me. Just gonna walk a little bit. That guy's pretty hot. This guy's not though. Let's keep let's keep some heat on this guy. Okay, how fast are they? Pretty darn fast. Get a reserve. Because we're going to crest and fire on somebody, I think. They got a lot of damage potential, so I got to be careful here. Now, it's a good thing that our uh, sensors give us minus 20% uh, range, minimum range. So our minimum range is not 180 meters, it's 90 meters. Um, question, do we use up the remaining Artemis on this guy and hammer him? Or do we bake him? Let's bake him. Thirty-six heat doesn't seem like a lot. Ready for order. I'm gonna move over and get on the side of this guy again. And we're gonna bake him. Infernos are up. Yep. This. We could go bolt on rockets. I'm gonna put the barrage on him too. Let's fire. Looks like we got the barrage on him. A little bit of heat, nice. 45 more heat. Pilot hit, nice. Some heavy damage. Yes, Commander. Uh, what do you think about taking on that hunchback? I think it's probably a good idea. Get on his side again. Hopefully we can claim his leg and knock him down. LRM's back up. Here they come. Firing. Got rid of the arm. AC-20 has gone. Beautiful. So that guy's technically out of the battle. Now, um, you know, it makes me wish, I gotta find, maybe we should switch the, the uh, loadout on this mech from lasers to flamers. It's a possibility. Gonna do this. Lifting off. Gonna land here. And we're okay with stability, and we're going to do this. Got a lock. Okay. Get into here. Let's go. I did click. Okay. 88% on this guy. 
50 on this guy. But this guy's way too toasty to really do anything. He's going to be receiving incendiaries this turn anyway. So we're going to fire on the Mortis. Uh, we got 25 rounds of dead fire left. Let's use them up and hammer the Mortis from the side. Okay, that's some good damage. Now you got plenty. Made sure of that. He's got the axe. I remember that now. It's a good thing he hasn't come up this hill at all. Could be potentially really disastrous for us. Now I don't think he can get out. No, he can't. Not unless he has jump jets. He's got to come around. Let's keep Baraji boy here nice and toasty. I'm hoping he bails out. I don't want to do too much damage to him. Let's just hit him with Inferno. Burn him a little bit. Yeah, man. Look at that. that hit something good. We're about to shut him down here in a second. At least I hope we do. Talk to me. Okay, you don't have to worry about moving because we don't really have any threat at this point. The AC-20 is shut up. So, turn these off. Turn that off for now. And let's... Not him. This guy. Here we go. Toast him. Nah, I can't shut him down. Punch right through his armor. Can't shut him down. Awaiting orders. He's got the barrage coming on him though. We're gonna hit this guy from be oh, from behind with a barrage too. The There's the tag and the barrage. Just have to make sure we're outside the range there. Let's just jump out of here. Let's come back over to here. And decide what your next action will be after that. Now that should shut him down. Or destroy him. Wow. He's trying to make it up to me now. Affirmative. 56 on this guy. A little better on the hunchback. Let's just go after the hunchback. Just got to clean these guys up now. There goes him. Oh, he did have a double heat sink kit. It's kind of weird with the AC-20 and a couple of medium lasers. You got a double heat sink kit? Feels like it's a waste to me. I get you. On the move. Let's keep him toasty. Yeah, it's the tab this, I guess. Just going to go with the Inferno. Let's just brace this turn. How can I help? That should be direct line of sight with incendiaries. Yeah, 51. And even more heat from the barrage. All right. Oh, come on. All right, see if we can shut him down. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Mission successful. So that mission, if the Mortis and the um, Warhammer had and the Hunchback had pushed that hill, yeah, see, someone mentioned that this was forcing somebody to eject, and I guess maybe Queen B and this guy did as much, like, more damage to this guy than anybody, and he popped, he, he ejected, so maybe that's why it's this way. Right? We had two, four, five mech kills, yeah, and then one, two, three, four vehicle kills, yeah. So that's probably, it's, that's probably exactly what that it means, is that the pilot was forced to eject. Okay, so, um, yeah, if they had pushed that hill, we would have been in a big trouble. We would have had to race to get there before them. So, Hunchback 6N, there's four parts of a mortise, 75 tons. Don't think we can not take that. I think everybody would yell at me if I didn't take that. So, we're going to go ahead and take it. 
see what we get out of it. Um, Battle Fist. Excel. God, there's so many great things here. The Hatchet. Hopefully that shows up on the Mortis. Heat Dissipating Armor. Industrial TSMs. Increases maximum carry weight by times three. That's interesting. Don't know what that means. Searchlight. So many cool things here. Weapon mount. HRMs. Heavy HRMs. Or heavy MRMs, I mean. All right, let's just go with this and see what we get. All right, we got a cicada part. AC5, LRM10. All right, let's just dr get rid of the stuff that we don't want here. So the medium lasers we don't need. we got six of them already. SRM2s, we've got eight of them we don't need. The 80 core, we don't need. Internal combustion engines, we don't need. LRM10, we've already got five of them. AC5, take it because we need it as a backup. Heavy jump jets, we'll need. Primitive, we don't need. Ooh, AC20 ammo, quantity four, beautiful. Good thing I didn't buy any in the store. Exchanger, nice. Hatchet, okay, that's good in case we lost the half hatchet, and I have no idea what this does. Other than carry weight by times three. Maybe that has to do with the weight of the melee weapon? Maybe? I don't know. Let's continue. All right, 40,000 repairs. That's respectable for what we did. We did take that uh, auto cannon 5 hit for, for 45 on the archer, so... That was probably a little bit of the, the uh, dollar value right there. Now, um, let's go into the mech bay real quick. Hey, Commander. That mortise is going to be expensive to fix. I got a, f a bad feeling about this. Uh, heavy mech. All right, let's ready this guy. See what we got here. ERPPC with PPC capacitor, LRM10, clan built LRM5. That's interesting. All right, let's check this guy out. Looks like he's trash, though. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, he's trashed. <laughs> oh, man. I got a feeling that most of the stuff that we're going to get is going to look like this. It's just going to be trashed. So, I mean, whatever. That's fine. Okay, so the hatchet looks like it's built in. Um, okay, that's interesting. 75 tons. We're going to need a big core. I don't think we've got that big of a core, though. How big is the, the biggest core we have? 260, 280. Well, I guess that's not too bad. Mm. What's that going to give us for speed, though? Not very much. 3.5. See, it wouldn't be so bad if we just, like, like if we drop a su supercharger in, the problem is is that 20% failure chance on activation deals critical hit to self on failure. <sighs> chance of failure is reduced by piloting skill. So if we have a good pilot, like let's say 6 in there, it's still 14% chance on activation that it, it craps out. So we're only going to get one turn before we really got to turn it off. And we got the mask available. 50% run multiplier when activate. 10% failure on chance. 20% on consecutive. But 375, this weighs, what, 0.8. It's a huge difference in weight. Legs receive failure penalty. Two structure damage to location on failure, which isn't too, too bad. Um... Where does this go? Times three carrying capacity. I didn't notice anything change. Wait. Oh. Um, specialist slots. Three out of 7.5. See, it multiplies the specialist slots. So maybe there's bigger, heavier weapons. Stuff you can carry in your arms. That's my guess which is 
kind of cool. Like, if you can find a big melee weapon? Okay, that's interesting. So we got the three-ton hatchet. Can we put two on here? No, apparently not. Battle Fist can go in here, though. So, we got, what? Six laser, one ballistic, four missile hard points, 75-ton mech, not very good speed. I mean, we could outfit it kind of for, um, for melee until we can get a bigger core. Like, we'll leave this just in case we can get close to somebody. It's going to need the Guardian ECM. I don't know. We'll see. Armored Cowl, maybe? One to guts, five armor structure to five to armor and structure to the head. And plus one injury resist. That's a possibility. But like I said, we're lacking in a lot of stuff that the last series I had so much of. Now it's just like, you know, I don't really have a lot of everything. All right, well, I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm going to have to figure out what we're going to do with this. Like, that's 872,000 already, and we haven't put anything on it yet. So, let me think about this one. I'm going to let it sit for now. There's no harm in letting it sit. 712,000, our sea bill cost per month is going up. We're going to have to jump systems. Well, you know what? we got six days. Will everything be back in six days? Oh, yeah. Everything will be back in six days for sure. So we'll sit here. There's a couple more missions we can take on this planet. Then we'll probably sit here till the financial report, see what comes up after that. And if there isn't anything, we'll jump off here and go somewhere else. I'm hoping we can get enough missions for both of our lances to run. Uh, but we'll see. All right, so I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Also, drop any comments in the comment section down below. Also, you can make a, uh, any comments about that mortise. What do you think we should do with it right now? I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about repairing it and storing it until we get the right gear, but 75-ton mech would be nice to have it in the battlefield, even if it is relatively slow. It does have uh, four missile points, so, I mean, we could turn it into another Lurm boat, or we could turn it into a close-range SRM boat or something. I don't know. Um we got to be careful with heat because we don't have a double heat sink kit for it. So you got to remember that too. All right, so I'm going to end this episode here. And until next time, we'll see you later.